what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? You know the NBA is supposed to be on lockdown, right? They're supposed to be in a bubble at Disneyland. Well, an excused absence for his grandfather's funeral saw Los Angeles Clippers guard Lou Williams eventually photographed at a strip club. Naturally, the NBA got questions. So this guy who's a rapper named Jack Harlow posted the photo on Instagram when he realized, I guess, what was going on, he tried to catch a snap and he said, oh, this was an old picture. But the damage was already done and Lou eventually came clean with the NBA. The league is investigating Lou's trip outside the bubble at Disney World as they try to determine exactly how long he has to stay in quarantine. They say they have a minimum of four days that one must stay in quarantine once they step outside of that bubble. This dude is not just any old player. He's the reigning six man champion in the NBA. And he averages over 18 points a game off the bench. The Clippers are going to need him if they are to advance in the playoffs. This dude about to blow the whole bag so he can hang out with some damn strippers. He's about to get everybody killed. He's putting everybody at risk because he just got to take his hot ass to the strip club. Look, fam, I like looking at nice women myself. You know, I am the cleanup man, the gangster love and all the above. Man, do I enjoy looking at women. But I'm not about to blow my bag or my health to do so. And you can't sit down for, you know, a hot 30 days, 60 days or whatever. It's plenty of time to go to the strip club. The strip club ain't going nowhere. The girls at the strip club ain't going nowhere. I can guarantee you, if you leave for an entire year and go back, you'll see the same girls at the strip club. If not at the one that you typically attend, they'll be at another one. And there's always new ones. Come on, man. You got to be smarter than that. This extends from, or extends into other professions. Don't blow your bag, man, chasing tail. I remember a guy in Houston spent $30,000 of the company's money on a credit card at the strip club. $30,000 of the company's money. He had a good job too, oil and gas, fired his ass. Paying for dances, $30,000. Dances and champagne and drinks. Champagne, mixed drinks, something that you're gonna basically relieve yourself of when you go to the bathroom. The dances, are just going to be memories. It's not really an investment. There's no, it's not a good ROI, you know, return on your investment. It's, it's not a good ROI. We got to do better, fam. Come on now. I ain't going to call him a, a simp just yet. Maybe he was going through some things. His grandfather died. Maybe they was close. And he just needed a break. It was too much. I don't know, but I remember Dennis Rodman. <laughs> Dennis Rodman used to go all the way to Vegas 
when uh, during those championship years in Chicago. He would go to Vegas in the middle of the playoffs, tell the team, look, I need a break. Go out there for a couple of days or whatever. Then he come back and play like a champion. So maybe I guess he's saying, man, if Dennis can go to Vegas and gamble, perhaps I can go to the strip club and make it do what it do. Don't blow the bag, fam. Whatever you do. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.